we're here at the Dutch shop in Smithfield, Sydney, where you can find all things Dutch. Nancy has worked here for the last 23 years and Amy Harrison is an honorary Dutchie. <laughs> Nancy, what do you have here at this store? We have everything that you can find in Holland. There is groceries, souvenirs, supporters gear for the soccer coming up. Do you get many Dutch people come through here as well? Yes, we do, especially the elderly. Mm -hmm. and They get quite emotional because there's a lot of memories. Amy, I know you're really looking forward to the food. Mm -hmm. What do you want to eat the most? Uh, probably the croquette or the frikandel. Frikand what? You'll see. <laughs> this is what I was talking about, Michelle. This is the Frikandel Special. Basically, it's just a mix of meat, um, some sauce on top and some onions. Mm, okay, let's dig into this. It. And while we are, you spent some time in the Netherlands playing there for PSV. Mm -hmm. What is it like to play there? It was such a cool experience. Um, the Dutch are are super passionate about their football, mm. flares, everything, you name it, in the stadium. Now on this, mm -hmm. this is delicious. It's really good. I'm liking it. And the sauce on top, what is it? So we just have a curry sauce mixed in together with some onions, but it's delicious. The Dutch team, they're, they're kind of in a stage of, of transition, would you say? Yeah. How do you think they're going to go at this World Look, Cup? I actually think they will do well. I think, like you said, they are in a, a transition kind of stage. And they now have a Dutch manager in and they're really finding their feet. Um, a lot of young Dutch players are coming through. And on their coach, as you said, they've got a new coach in Andres Jonker. Mm -hmm. He's got a decent win percentage, 66%. Is he the right fit now? I really do think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, he's going to try a few different systems with them. They've been tinkering with the, a different tactical approach in, in a 3-5-2. And the Dutch people really do warm to their own. You know, the players seem to have really bought into that new tactical approach. Did you feel that when you went over, that it was a little bit hard to fit in? Or um, was everyone quite welcoming? I think being Australian, people do warm to you quite quite quickly. Um, obviously, the language and completely different lifestyle, weather, it is difficult, absolutely, but the Dutch people are beautiful people. Before we get into the players, should we try something else? What do you yeah, think we should go for? I think we'll go for a bit of bong. I love these. Okay. They are just a, a small little ball filled with beef, basically, mm -hmm. um, deep fried. and They love their small. mustard, the they do. Dutch, don't they? They really do. So you can grab a bit of that on as well. Mmm, they're delicious. They are even better with the sauce as well. Yeah. So let's talk about the players. One big absence is going to be Viviana Miedema. Mm -hmm. Devastating for the team. Do you think they'll be okay without her? <sighs> no, I, I don't think so. I think she's going to be a, a really big loss for them. Um, you saw how valuable she was over the past few years, especially But the luxury of the Dutch national team is that they have talent coming through. and. Some of those players are already doing well. We've seen Victoria Palova at Arsenal doing really well. What about the more established names like Lika Martins and, and also Jill Rod? How do you think they will do? Because they will have to step up now. Yeah, they will. And I think both of those players are in a time of their career where they do need to step up. And I think they will. We've seen Jill Rod have a, a really good season at Wolfsburg, really close to winning the Champions League. No better time to step up than a Women's World Cup. Yeah, that's right. I know you've been dreading having the herring. Should we just like go for it now? Yeah. I'll take this one. Oh, I don't want the onion to fall. How do you say cheers in uh, Dutch? Uh, Prost. Prost. Okay, and so we go sure. up and... Oh, gosh. I actually don't mind that. I'm so sorry. I don't like raw fish. <laughs> Oh, I don't mind it. I'm glad you can have mine. <laughs> the final thing that we're going to try, what are these? They're just like a little pancake-like and you put some butter. A lot of kids have these um, if you go to like markets or, or stuff like that. Well, Amy, thanks for enjoying this lovely meal Thank with you. me. It was delicious. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. Now let's finish it off. Yeah, let's uh, clog off, shall we? Okay. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.